<laughs> okay. Let me get this out. Need a little silver. Um, these are special coils. I've got hundreds of them all over the house, <laughs> but I carry silver and copper. Oh yeah, copper is best for Aries. Need that. Yeah, um, people who are deficient in iron, um, it's it's copper. There's there's only one blood type. It's AB. All the rest are copper deficient. So I'm an A, which means I need copper. I stay healthy with these. And this one's silver and copper. All right, so let's do the devil's horns. Yeah! Ha! <laughs> and notice it's not working. Where, where's the where's the iOS feature? Why isn't the... <laughs> Looks like the oh, iOS man. isn't catching it, is it? Oh, oh there, there it is! is. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <coughs> All right. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh. Yeah, well, so there it goes. Noise makes it better. Okay. Rock and roll. Nope. You can't do it. No, nah, I'm. I'm on a. <clears throat> I'm on a mat. Uh, I'm not on iOS. So, see, I've never seen that on Skype. So I thought. It was AI from Meta. Yeah, I think it could be too, man. They're getting really good at this stuff, man. That's crazy. I, I think <clears throat> I think it's from Meta. Maybe Skype, but with Meta now. See, I've never done that before. With noise. Oh! Oh! Um! Oh, gotta have both thumbs out or both thumbs in. All right. Ah! Boy, you got scared anyway. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the uh, well, I did it. I did it. It happened twice. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but this is what I believe, though, brother. I believe that it's I, I believe that technology can do that, but it's not just technology. They're actually using the energy which comes from that um, gesture what, or a uh, mudra. Yeah, this mudra has six prongs to it. Right? The Pope does this all the time. See, you know how last Two days ago, um, we showed, I, I, I remembered the Led Zeppelin song remains the same, right? Hey, can you punch in when was, was Star Wars started? See if Jimmy, Jimmy Page got that before um, George Lucas, the lightsabers. 1977. Okay, Jimmy Page was first. So the hermit was first. Interesting. So what I believe is this. It is my energy. It's everyone's energy who does that. That's why you do it at a rock. Because you're actually... The, the, the internet meta AI is catching your energy <clears throat> you know i suppose you know there's many gestures you can do you can do this one i suppose i think this one gets bubbles yeah it doesn't always work though it's that's why it's like it's I not think, easily replicable well i think because of the humming we did and <clears throat> i suggested it might be the feedback from my big boast speaker <clears throat> to the Mac's microphone. So having a modern Mac <clears throat> is doing this. Ha! I think you got to come with the energy, like that meditation almost amped it up and made it more precise because the yeah. timing was impeccable last time. That's why I was yeah. so shocked by it, just because... It just, I don't know. Like I said, I think I can see what you're saying, though. It's its picking up what's happening. 
that gesture just happens to be able to enter it and think the thumbs up one too that carries energy too thumbs up well what what got me thinking that was how how do um ghosts turn up or people that have died in photographs old photographs and even modern photographs how do how does a person turn up in a photo <clears throat> that was not physically there and they're dead ghosts and that's simple I mean, these are photos, you can get some that are hundreds of years old and you see ghosts in them. And security cameras are catching ghosts, pulling people by the leg, man. So yeah. me doing this, we're, you know. It, traggles, it, tra it, it triggers the fourth and fifth dimensions. Well, why does the Pope always do this? He's like, you know, and all the rock stars yeah. and all the, yeah. They say ACDC invented this. I don't think so. That's a mudra. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Just like that one. It's a mudra. You know that the ninjas uh, do intense hand exercise. Uh, hand, and they do all these different kind of stretches and exercises. I do this so, one for the guitar, Chris. Right? This one gets you <clears throat> see because these two fingers run on one nerve are there you oh. go <laughs> there you go ha ha <clears throat> because <laughs> because these two fingers are the fingers you use to play the guitar with and they sort of they sort of have one tendon rather sorry yeah they sort of, whereas if you play with these two, you would really have much more dexterity. But for some reason, all the great flamenco guitarists play with these two. So when you do this, <clears throat> see, that's, that's now uh, eight-pronged. This is <clears throat> six-pronged. And this way you get more dexterity on the fretboard. By doing it as fast as you can. And you won't get arthritis either because you're stretching the tendons, <clears throat> you know, and, and the bones are um, relaxing. It's hard on my left hand. i got to get my left hand used to that. But you're familiar with the Samurais and Ninjas, right? When they do their hand sign stretches and they do like 12 of them. <clears throat> yes, man. What are they? Uh, the ninja, the uh, various ninjas do it. Like they, they do that one. They kind of stretch over with their hand up like that. They do the snake, the dragon, monkey, massages this. Ram, that's ram, like a sheath. Ox. You can tell and fill out and massages those meridians. Do they do the Kabbalah, the ten? Yeah, separate? that's dragon. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Mm, I, listened to the, I listened to the recording and I kind of am embarrassed that it's out because that was, you know, really bad sounding, really, with the microphone. I wonder if, if it sounds better if I play back. <clears throat> Does? Yeah.
I've got this before. I've got a better way of doing it. Yeah, but anyway, I'll, I think I can still do it better. So I can't play. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't blame the LSD this time. <laughs> New strings. But it sounds better? Yeah, much better. Are those low tension strings, medium or high? Uh, I don't know because my the normal strings that I use, Luthia blues, they're medium tension. So I'm getting them from Amazon. But these are, I don't know what they are, I forget. So we're up to uh, Capricorn, rock and roll, then we go to
Phrygian, by the way. So better if I'm back, right? Yeah, it sounds a little bit more clear. <clears throat> but definitely so better. That's, than that was all standard tuning, right? So remember, cash me is dropped down. Dad, dad. Drop the B. To an A and drop this D to a D. And you ready? You ready to um So, <clears throat> all right, man. So we know what the boogie woogie man was. It's uh, woo, rock and roll, rock and roll, yeah. Only with the proper energy, it seems. No, no, it's it just got to get the right. It's got to read it, but um, it's 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 like the ghosts, you know. They're there all the time, but you don't get them in all the in all the photos. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, yeah, the ghosts have to actually utilize electromagnetic energy from the physical realm to actually appear. So that's why um, in like seances or mediums, what they do is they get everyone to increase the electromagnetic energy in the room so that the poltergeist has enough energy to utilize to actually affect physical objects. I was actually reading from C.C. C. Zane, uh, a contemporary student of... Um, Thomas H. Burgoyne, he continued his work. He wrote a 3,529 page book um, and basically explained how spiritualism, medium mystic channeling works, and how medium is medium mystic techniques are higher and more valuable than just simple uh, actually channeling is better than medium mystic because you actually they're letting the entity come in and control or whether as channeling, you're actually, tapping into information source and and kind of utilizing their electromagnetic energy currents to explain things that's why uh when you're reading these books you can tap into their flow and you actually become a, an actual channel for that divine information to flow through uh, yeah 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 only only there's there's another element to this and that is clairvoyance clairvoyance right I'd be able to see true because there's mediumship which is from the solar plexus this is where mediums get their information from in photographs yep. from the animal mind the lower mind yep not good see manly p hall see the neoplatonists and light of egypt <clears throat> yeah so channeling is what happens all the time you you're, you're thinking you don't think <laughs> thinking is happening to you they are not original thoughts they come from your higher mind there's nothing new under the sun and yet the thoughts see your body it's it's not real it, this is the shadow of you 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 can never see you <laughs> this is a shadow it's it's a, a dense shadow of what you really are so i don't know where i was going with that you you might remember but all these mudras why does the pope do this i've got i've gone 100 years back and seen all the popes they all do this <laughs> now i don't care how smart 
the uh, AI is. I think the mudras, and that one in particular, I mean, you know all those balloons and butterflies and whatever, that shit, right, by doing, what did I do? Um, weaker mudras. Huh? Like, they're like weaker mudras, like that one, okay. yeah. Here you go, right, okay, so, <laughs> well, maybe that, maybe that is what that means, you know, like, hey, have a sparkly day, man, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's both you doing it and the magnetic field picking it up called the AI, the ether net. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know man. We're getting good at it. But, well, the thing is, you know, the world's the world's changing rapidly, and I believe we've had this technology, so it shouldn't be a surprise, man. But it's always been. Why? Why are we just? so accustomed to all this technology now you know like as if it's always been and it has yeah but, but, but we but we, we watch the movies where it tells us that we were cowboys and indians and we didn't have all these tartarian buildings for a thousand two thousand years and so we were just you know like scratching our heads and come from cavemen and mm, no nah, nah, 150 years ago they uh yeah they reset the whole thing man made deserts Australia was full of cities, you know. When I was going through uh, the outback <clears throat> twice, <clears throat> I, was, I, was, I went looking for Lassiter's city, the city of gold, that Australian Aboriginals say is a lost city, but it's, it's there. And Lassiter, it's called Lassiter's city, an underground city full of gold, made of gold in Australia, in the outback. And there's a highway called Lassiter's Highway. Well, this Englishman supposedly found it in the 1800s. Uh, <clears throat> mm. And he saw all the gold. And I actually traveled that highway. And um, we had a, a Subaru four wheel drive and there were two of, two of us. And, and my friend, Jamie, he was a musician too. We were in a band. It was 1986, 87. And um, he was into this stuff too, and he, and he really wanted to go and find the city. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, but you won't find it. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew he wouldn't find it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, it seems like America is like a supernatural special place, man. It just seems like... Uh... It just kind of makes sense that we inherited this land and this technology and they just got to make it appear like we're just coming out with this and coming out with that and then just like they have a release date they have it all printed out when we're releasing this to the public when we're releasing that to the public yeah man yep Go back. Because I, um, <clears throat> I discovered for a start that I think the glass, um, the glass, I broke, I broke my other glass one. So, <laughs> so I've got to steal one because I break everything. Um, now yeah, where is it? it fell. Oh, see, there it is. Oh, shite. So I'm going to do it with glass, but um, if it sounds better, I might as well have a go, huh? That's all I'm doing. Um. Oh, shit. Where's the LSD when you need it? I'm 
breaking the rules here by strumming all the strings. I should be doing just the. Anyway, that's that's traveling Riverside blues really bad. I should be really doing the. But I don't like. I've got to get some, uh, I'm going to damage it like I damaged my other one, so, but I should be going. Um, anyway, this is also good for, um, you know. You've got the in my time of dying, you know. Yeah, man. All right, so we worked it out. Boogie, woogie, man. Blah, the I think noise makes it better. Ra! Let's get one more before we clo close off. Hey! Um, um, from the perineum. Here we go. It's gonna. I'm gonna. It's gonna work. You can't do it. No, I don't have iOS, man. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Big om. It's going to happen. <clears throat> oh, lam, bam, ram, yam, om. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, so I remember the second one. I didn't, I didn't see the second one. I, I thought we'd only captured one because I had my eyes closed, but you did, and you were freaking out, you know, Andrew, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't see any of that. <laughs> so when, when I went, when you gave me the video to look at it, because that's why we stopped the recording, I waited till the end, and then I saw it happen again. I thought, fuck, I didn't see that the first time, you know. Um, but um, people had a lot of fun with it, Santos. It was just a good time, man. People really, I think they just enjoyed us chatting and kind of a little lifted and uh, getting a little tricked by AI. Who cares? Lighthearted, you know, it's funny. <laughs> but I think it has some truth in it, you know, like you were saying, you made some good points about it. By the way, if you want to produce these songs, I'm going to send you a few links. Once you get a USB microphone, they're really useful. You don't have to have that extra counterpart. Plug it into your laptop and switch your output settings to the microphone. It'll be a lot more clear. I've got, I've got this. What I can. Um... Yeah, connect that and make that be your mic. That'll probably be real clean. Like. I got all these wires. I can um I got I got a little uh thingy. Oh wow, you already have one. Yeah. If that works, plug that right up into it uh, and that should be crystal clear. But I, I've tried it. it doesn't work. I've tried it. I I don't I don't know how to work <laughs> connect it. 
So once you connect it, then you'll have an audio device pick up here. So like in Skype, for example, let me check to see audio and video settings. And you click on that and then you would go to, let me see, down to oh. audio and you change your output simply to uh, microphone. See, mine's headset. But if I click this, I can change it to m the microphone on the computer instead of my earphones. So when you plug that in, you just go into your Skype settings right there on the right corner with the three dots. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, let's see what happens. I put this in the back of the uh, microphone. Yep. <clears throat> then there's this lead. This goes into the back here. Power. Turn on. And just plug that into your Mac. This goes. One of these. Ha! Huh, screws on. In the back of this. This is not connected. There's no power. USB. So do I want what what I don't want? Yeah, this. you don't need headphones. Yeah, ditch the no, headphones. No. That 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 needs to go into my computer, right? Usually USB. Yeah, usually the the box connects to the computer. Okay, I've got this. Okay, so Mac settings or what? Nope, just go to the three dots on the right of Skype. It should give you that and then go to audio and video I settings. I can't hear you. You can't hear me now? Can't hear you. Mm. It's coming out. Your speaker's the mic. I'm not muted. Sound. Yep, USB input. Yep. And now make your speaker the computer. Uh, MacBook Pro speakers. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's see if this works. Cool. Can you hear me now? Kidding. I think it sounds better, but you can't hear me. I can't hear you, but let me let me do it then.
do that again. Hey, Santos, go. Put your headphones on. Put your headphones on. Huh? Put your headphones on. Put my headphones on? Yeah, real quick. But but I can't because this this is plugged this is plugged into my laptop. Oh, you can't hear me through the headphones. This is plugged into my laptop, dude. Mm, I don't know why you can't hear me. Huh? You can't hear me though. Let me, let me go to the Skype. What's wrong? Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay, I think you got to make sure if you want to share your screen, I want to make your settings is right. You should make it so that your output speaker for me is your laptop and that your input is your microphone. Um, I think I'm coming through the headphones or something. So go ahead and share your screen. Plug in your microphone, but I want you to share your screen when you go to that more, the three dots on the right. And I just want to make sure that your output, your input is... Uh, the microphone is that for sure the microphone because i don't i don't it might just be your computer again let's see this one okay hey, yep yeah Scroll down. Oh, oh there. Yeah. Uh, microphone. Oh, yep. Yeah. Not wrong. Microphone. Change that. Mm -hmm. Click the arrow down. Click the arrow down. Yeah. USB audio. Yeah. There we go. But can I still plug this into my computer though? Yeah, plug that in. Make sure that that's the device. Yeah, it should be the one. That's your microphone, right? C O C. See, but now I can't hear you when I plug it in. I can't. I can't hear you now when I plug you in. Uh, go to speakers. MacBook Pro speakers. It should be. There it is. MacBook Pro speakers. Hmm, that's very weird. Oh, maybe when you click it, you have to turn it up. But I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah, that's the speakers. The microphone's USB audio. It should be good. But I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, let me see what's happening. Can you hear me I, through your I headphones? Can't hear I can't hear anything here. It sounds better, though. Was. That's yeah, good. Stop, stop sharing your screen. Flip your screen off. Oh, so you couldn't see me? No, I can see you in the corner, yeah. Mm. But you got to stop sharing. Okay, so we'll figure out why the audio, you can't hear me, but if you can hear me now, I'll just let you know that when you use that microphone, just how you did with the USB device, that sound quality is a lot better, brother. So. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, I can hear you now. Huh. And you're still using that mic? Tap that mic with your finger. I want to see if the mic's picking you up. Tap the mic with your finger. Sick. 
Sounding good. Nice one. Yeah. Unfortunately, the thing is with, with that, whenever I play it like just spontaneously like that, it's just clumsy and, and chunky and, uh, you know, too much muscle tension knowing, yeah. that, knowing that I'm not fluid and I'm, I know I never am. I'm, I'm one of these guys that have to warm, has to warm up for two hours. Yeah, that's why when we do your real recordings, we're going to record each one separately, have you fully prepared, have the mic connected. And, so, uh, so what if I do my presentations with this then in, on Tuesday? You sound real clear, your voice coming in real crisp. Okay, so I'll just put this here when I do my presentations, right? Is it better? Yeah, sounds nice and clear. Man, I've had this for three years. We've all been waiting for it. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's not much better. You sound fine on the computer. It just comes in a little more crispy. So. Yeah. I'm trying to but figure out what those warm, headphones were. When you're warmed up, though, you, you, you do play, uh, you play a lot cleaner. Yeah. I recommend you should just record your songs in Reaper, and we'll just put it out with a picture of you. And we'll do a slideshow picture and we'll just have an mp3 file um we'll just make mp3s out of them and put them in with pictures oh you oh you can't film it in reaper you no. can do that no you can't do that in reaper but if you want it to be filmed then like we could just do it how we're doing it now but i think reaper will have better sound if you wanted to release a music video it might be even better to just have footage of you playing your other songs and whatnot and just have a slideshow, video slideshow, and have each song title and we'll release them one at a time and we'll make a lead flamenco playlist on our channels. Yeah, look, I think what I need is a cameraman who's got a good mic and just get get the ambience of the room. I don't oh, yeah. want to... I don't want to go to a studio. I can't afford it. But uh, once I do do it, it will get it will get the attention of um, other people who love Led Zeppelin, and hopefully they can collaborate with me. And then we then then we'll do a recording. And I'm hoping my brother David <clears throat> will be the drummer because <clears throat> he's better than Jason Bonham by, by far. Jason yeah. Bonham Jason Bonham does not even sound like his father anywhere near what my brother David. <clears throat> does he is absolutely the best bonzo copycat drummer on this earth beautiful yeah so i'm going to try and get him and i'm going to try and get my other brother peter to sing because he's got a good head voice better than mine he's, nice. a guitar he's a guitarist and a drummer as well but the three of us we, we are led zeppelin's best biggest fans the three of us just <laughs> nice bro i'm trying three... to go on I'm trying to do my, I'm just trying to do flamenco classic. I made some kind of flamenco gypsy songs. I have some covers I want to do. I want to do a reggae. And then I'm doing a rap album right after that because I used to be a professional rapper for sure. And I'm getting into that, man. It's just an urge I have to do. So I'm going to be doing music as well. Uh, I'm trying to learn Baroque music. Fantasi. Beautiful song. Who? Baroque. I know Baroque, but uh, who? What was his name? The Italian who, who plays Fantasi? Let me just see real quick. Oh, Fantasi! Oh, that's that's fantasy. So, yeah, you need to find who who whether it's Italian. Most Baroque is Italian. So I used to do Scarlatti, Vivaldi, Bach, Beethoven, Mozart. I used to play them all. Oh, so, S L Weiss, S L Weiss. Yeah. 
So uh, I I do I do baroque and classical and rena and uh, romance. <laughs> I mean yeah. everything. It, that's what a syncretist does. I don't just do rock and roll and flamenco, you know. Yeah, man. I'm trying to branch out as well. Oh yeah, I want to do a public service announcement. Sandals is really important. I just want all of our viewers. This is a public video. Um, I feel like there's people they don't know how to act. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So I just want to give everyone instructions for all the unlisted videos. Um, there are videos that are not open to the public. They are free. For those who don't know how, is you have to sign up for a Patreon account with your email. So create a member's account on Patreon. Once you're in Patreon, you're going to search for Mr. Astro Theology on Patreon. And there is the options to join for free. Or if you'd like to donate, there's a lot of perks that are involved in those donations, but it is free. Um, there's a lot of people missing out on the videos and lives. We've already done four um, I'm, and people are not finding them. So go to patreon.com, sign up as a member. And once you're signed up as a member, you will search for Mr. Astro Theology on Patreon. And please catch up on all of the Book of Syncretism lectures that are being missed. So if anyone missed that last time, I apologize. There has been a link in the description of the videos. However, it looks like um, people are still looking for them on YouTube. They will not be found on my YouTube. Only some of them are released publicly. So please go to patreon.com, become a member, and search for Mr. Astro Theology. Yeah, can you take the uh, the perks off though? Because I'm not doing those anymore. That was a year ago. I'm I'm not doing any of those. It's free, and yeah. but but I do feel that if people that are on there can afford it, I think they should be donating to this because I, I obviously we all need help, and I need help. So um, you know um, this this. I think the value is in the two hours per week more than anything else that, you know, people don't need perks. But the reason I'm doing it for free is because a lot of people just can't pay. They just can't. But there are people who can. And I really, really <laughs> believe there's more who can out there that are actually giving because they tend to just think, oh, well, he'll be all right, you know. Yeah. Well, depends on the value of the work that the individual is doing. That's what I think. Yeah. And and those perks, they're not really we're, we, we're going to try to come up with something for possibly something for paid members. We'll never block the content. The content will always be open and free. But maybe we could uh, install some type of perk for those who pay maybe a live Q&A once a month or uh, something like that. But we're still working on it. So discount the perks, but there are options to donate and you will be part of a community. Um, and also, please check out my Patreon, too, because I'm posting Mystery School lessons there for free. Mine's in the description as well. And I appreciate everyone who's helped out. So, Yeah, like there's guys out there that are just doing this for money. They are just doing it just for money and for a bit of fame and a bit of glory and all for, the, for, for all the wrong reasons. I'm not doing it for that because I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I don't want a Lamborghini and I don't want a fucking wife and six children, you know. I don't want a castle in the mountains. I want to go home. So, you know, I'm trying to get everybody woken <laughs> properly, real quick, the best I can. You know? Yeah, for sure. And I but, think a lot of people just didn't know how to find it on Patreon. You know, sometimes people aren't very tech savvy and... Patreon, you have to sign up for it and stuff. So I just want to let everyone know to go sign up for Patreon as a member, log in with your email, and search Mr. Astro Theology. That's where he's at. So, All right, one more spooky man. There it is. There it is again. <laughs> I am your father, Luke. <laughs> and don't you forget it. One more, come on. 
There it is. <laughs> All right. See you, brother. See you, bro.